like this Dominican kind of Puerto Rican kind of whatever the case may be. Do y'all feel a certain way about men that does that? I, I wonder how women feel about that. Hmm. That's a good question. You know what I'm saying? Like you don't see a Kobe Bryant with this this type of girl. You'll see. Um, I mean, I can name so many of them. It's unbelievable. But yeah, yeah. it's like they take the same type of woman. Like they chase this. This. I mean. So is we saying that? So are we saying that? That's the, this is the typical prettiest woman out. That's the woman that's considered to be top of the charts as being beautiful. I don't know. Then you got people like Dwayne Wade that chose. You know, otherwise, I, I don't know, man. It, it, it's weird. Even, even listen. Even though Dwayne Wade ch chose otherwise, she has money. A lot of these other girls that they picking don't have shit. They don't have nothing. They just grabbing her. See what I'm saying? That's the thing, right. right? She has money, so she don't need him to be successful in her life. It just bothers me that we don't get the you no. Know, you know what I'm saying? We don't do that. It kills me, man. But I think it. I, I really think this shit really starts from college. Kelly Dawson, who's really to blame? The truth teller or the woman who calls and knowing how he is? I don't know. We, I don't know who to blame. Honestly, we got to figure it out. You ought to be saying not, not ugly girls. Ugly is, rel is, is relative. Beauty is in the eyes of a beholder. Not really, y'all. I mean, we always, hear, we always hear that, boy. That's, I don't really believe in that. <laughs> I got, I, I got. A couple ain't no of eyes in no goddamn beholder. I got a couple of callers, man. Some people get lined up, and it's just they, it's, shit don't be right. <laughs> she also said, men who do that have their own insecurities. They, they think that having one of those women is an achievement. I know. As I'm saying, like, what made them the achievement? I'm trying to figure out, like, what made them the like the trophy woman to have. I get I get twenty million. All of a sudden, I gotta get this. I gotta go get this Kim Kardashian look alike, or the yeah. you know the Kobe Bryant. But it was ain't it was so crazy. Yeah, it was so crazy is that oh, the black woman want to look like the other. Still want to look like the other woman, even back in the day when they want to have their hair, want to look like the opposite. You still want to do that? Uh, Carla uh, Oprah said, "I can't stand women who are disrespectful. I mean, disrespect their man. But if he's not respected, I mean, respectful. I don't get that." I can't stand. So we talking about women we got questions from our Facebook and YouTube and all that stuff too, y'all. Disrespect. So. Uh, well, disrespecting that man, but if he's not respectful, I got. Oh, so, okay, she did it right. If he's not respectful, he's not going to get any respect from her. Well, that's true too. I mean, if 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 a guy ain't respectful, that's vice versa. If you ain't respectful in your relationship, how can the fuck can you look forward to getting respect from your your partner? I mean, listen. That's my pet peeve. Not the smoking. Number one is respect. I don't ask for respect, I demand it. And when I tell people that shit, they say, are you cocky, you arrogant? I'm not cocky, I'm not arrogant. But guess what? You taught respect from day one when you're a child. Right. So you should already know the respect is, a, is major. So I'm not gonna ask you to give me respect, no. I'm gonna demand that shit. I'm not asking for it. You should already know that's what you have to do to anyone. So, if one can't respect the other, you can't complain about that shit, man. That's gonna be a relationship that ain't gonna go very far at all. Um, y'all, the B says, you got no question? Let me ask y'all, B. Y'all, B said, um, men who do that have their own insecurities. They think they have one of those women as an achievement. Yes, they do think that. I, mean, I, I, I definitely think that. I definitely, I, y'all, I definitely believe that. That's facts. She also said Dwayne, Dwayne Wade is smart as f. He's not shallow. Um. Yeah, some men stay grounded. I think what happens is a lot of men. You got some men that stay grounded. Not that not having one of those type of women makes you ungrounded, but some women. Stay Stay ground. They stay with like the girl when they was in high school. Where they looked at like the pretty girl high school. Whatever high school they went to, probably was a black pretty young girl. Probably was strong queen and something like that. Whatever. Some people still take that route, but then you had like you said you had those ones that probably wasn't too much or nothing coming up. You know, I probably have a whole bunch of women like that. And they feel like they got to kind of use that money to, or fame to chase this certain typical type of woman. 
Hey y'all, thanks for joining. Definitely. Thanks to everybody for joining. Uh Chad said, as a woman, we first have to respect ourselves to get respect. We shouldn't have to get plastic surgery to get noticed, and some men don't know how to respect a woman if they never have guidance or role models to teach them how to respect a woman. How y'all feel about plastic surgery? We had somebody over saying uh basically, you know, you shouldn't have to get plastic surgery and stuff like that. This is coming from Facebook. The uh I guess to say, I guess to show out your beauty or whatever. How y'all feel about plastic surgery? I mean, I think it's fine. I don't have no problem with it at all. I think I, I don't. I, I think no if you, I think if you miss, if you insecure about something that helps just build your security, yes. huh? No, go ahead. Go ahead. I said I think if you insecure about a certain thing, that help build your your securities. <laughs> it works. I just, I just believe that some family have some family genes are fucked up. So some people have fucked up bodies. They want to look like something decent. You can't punish them. Their bones don't match. They're they gonna match the really skin. <laughs> Cause their genes fucked up. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? You can't get mad at nobody because all the women their titties hanging out by their knees, or the, you know what I mean? Like they got fifteen fucking stump little handles. Like that, people jeans fucked up. They like, they don't want that shit, man. Or maybe, like you know, people don't understand. Like a lot of weight on your body is just uh, uh, destroy your body. Your big titties will fuck your back up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm serious, man. Like all oh, that shit fucks your body up. And sometimes people <laughs> have to do the best thing that they can do to help themselves. You know what I mean? Right. What the fuck? I mean, like, what you gonna be in pain forever? No, I'm gonna go ahead and get this motherfucking surgery that's gonna help me. Kelly Dunn says it's not safe to assume that everyone was taught how to be respectful. And then she talks to Kelly said, I did assume until recently people should know how to be respectful. Sure. To each his own, Coco Bunny. Kelly Dunn, I don't I don't see oh I don't care if she gets plastic surgery. Do what's best for you. I I I I I'm with you, Kelly. If you're trying to get a butt. It's women out here that got big breasts that, like you said, physically it hurts them, so they get breast reductions. Mm -hmm. But you got some people trying to get bigger breasts. You know what I'm saying? So I think if you but, got insecurities, if you can fix it, I think you should. People get bigger breasts because they're not big either. They're not overweighted. Right. See what I'm saying? They're not overweighted. The ones that's overweighted, you know what I mean? Fucking titties hanging out, over packed by your coochie. You see what I'm saying? Shit like that, like, that shit hurts them, man. That shit hurts them. I, I sit in these places like, we seen it live. We'll yeah. be in an event or somewhere and you'll see a girl walk in with a butt or something like that, that we probably saying, yo, what's, what's going on? What's going on? <laughs> but we'll probably be like, thanks everybody for joining again. But we'll be like, you know how you'll sit around and women will probably be like, man, or even dudes do that. Now dudes doing it. My butt feet. Why did we do that? Now some of them do be having, like y'all be saying, do you want, it's your body, I just know the ants, but it's hilarious. <laughs> Ass needs to match the legs. Y'all be, you as you exact, but that's what Terrence was saying. Terrence saying some people's bodies not even built, they get in shape. You get what I'm saying? Right. If a girl like legs and stuff is, is weird, if you can't if you can't put like thick in your thighs, but you can thick in your butt, that's yeah. crazy. That's crazy. Your as thighs shit. gotta match Man, your butt. You're like a line fucking back. linebacker. <laughs> yeah. You nasty. My, uh, we got we, we got we got a caller from uh, Roderick. Uh, he says uh, when you travel abroad, you see how they treat us as black men. We was that, he said that because we was talking about. Uh, how women, black women treat us and how white women treat us, things like that. So, mm. yeah, but mm. you can't, but you can't, you can't have no fucked up bodies, man. And, <sighs> Togo Bunny said it doesn't help with insecurities. That's what they believe. Oh, she said, Togo Bunny said it doesn't help with insecurities. That's what they believe. One surgery leads to another, leads to another, but if you aren't happy with yourself, the outside maintenance won't matter. I think outside maintenance does help, man. It does. 
If a dude need, if a dude need a three more inches, he gonna be happy if he can throw listen, three man. or four more on listen, that. Listen, he trust God me, his security's gonna be listen, straight. I'm tired of y'all. Keep talking about your outside don't have to be decent. It's a goddamn lie. It does have to be. It's good. a lie. <laughs> It does have to be good. I'm telling you, that's not true. it's a lie. I'm trying to let you know right now. Ugly is getting played out. <laughs> it's getting played out. I'm not a bomb, but I have a choice. Ugly is being played out, ladies and gentlemen. That's why people are doing the things that they're doing. I'm trying to tell you. You're going to still be the last one on the side, but you're going to be getting fucked. On a DL, nobody knows. I'm telling you, it's getting played out. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. It's getting played out. Kelly and Don at Coco Bunny, she said, this is why therapy is key for many people. I think, you, I mean, I don't really, me personally, I, 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 therapy is not, I don't really believe in it like that. Some people do. I, I don't know. I never had it, so I, I think you straighten this shit out. I, I'm, I'm maybe because I'm strong minded or something. I don't know. What therapy? therapy yeah, I, I don't what know. to make you what? She said people need ther. I guess therapy really to help with their insecurities. Man, therapy ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, I, I think that, a bigger butt would I'm do a, something. I'm gonna tell you why therapy ain't gonna do shit. A bigger butt, a bigger wood, right? Bigger right. anything, right? Or a man, or a man that loves you <laughs> for you. That's what the therapy you need. You don't need to go to nobody, talk to nobody about, uh, I'm not, I feel insecure because I'm looking like this and looking like that. Because guess what? Soon as you lean back out that motherfucker, you're going to see somebody else walking down the street looking hot. And now you're back to square one. That's why people need to find people that loves them. Stop trying to fit into the lane that you're not part of. Find people that loves you for who you are. G for the shop, what's going on, buddy? Forest Heights definitely in the building. Kelly and Don, talk about that's why I said that already. No, you know what? She said, yeah. uh, he said, G for the shot said, we be like sweetheart. You can tell when it's, he said, uh, you can tell when it's flute. Yeah, you can't tell when it's flute, G for the shot. You can tell when it's flute. And it, 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 some people does have bad jobs, but my point is, does even with the bad job, or even with the ant butt that we don't like, <laughs> Does it help them from a personal standpoint make them feel better is the point I'm trying to get to. As long as it help you, I think it's fine. Now, it's bad if you get this stuff and then you still kind of down on yourself. That's something different. <laughs> G from Shop said, if you're a cherry on high school, now you buffy the body. <laughs> oh, that's a lot. Morris said that's a lie. Hey, definitely. That... Uh, but G for the shot, what I'm saying is, even though that's true, but I would rather you be Buffy the body than steal the Cheerio. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> if you was a Cheerio, then you're not. That's cool. I'd rather you do that. <laughs> Don't stay the Cheerio because you worry about what somebody going to say. I'd rather you fix it. Once again, man, thanks to everybody for joining. Ziva, Coco Bunny, some of the bad chicks have low self-esteem. <laughs> Y'all want bad chicks who don't love their self. Oh my god, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Do bad chicks have low self-esteem? Um, I think they might here and there. Um, some of them do, but man, I'd rather be the bad chick though. I, people want to be the bad person no matter what. You'd rather be the good looking person and kind of deal with the shit that come behind it later. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? I don't want to be the bullshit person and then but with all of the, with all the good securities, I would be an insecure, pretty person. Oh, yo, this shit crazy, yo. This shit crazy. This motherfucker going in on your shit. On me? <laughs> oh, oh, people are focusing on the wrong things, though. Bodies cut out, chopped up, but teeth jacked up. Fix it all, Jesus. Y'all to be right. Yeah, I agree. You're right. You I know agree. what I'm saying? I felt that. I, agree. I got, when it got my, spent 15000 on my mouth. I mean... Cause I, I had some few missing some teeth from being young. I mean, nobody tell me I had goals in my mind. I had four goals at one time. So I, you know, but that was my, I felt like I needed to fix it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I did. I was getting older. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing business deals. I'm gonna be in these meetings, talking to these people with goals and stuff in your mouth. It was a mess. So definitely. Let me, let me get, let me get these calls over here. It's okay. Oh, uh, we're going to Facebook right quick, y'all. Oh, <laughs>
it's okay if that's uh, what you want. That's what you want. Uh, some people want it for different reasons. Insecurity, some people want it to fit and accommodate their brand. Shucks, I probably got, I mean, well, I probably would get it too fat in this stomach. I got enough ass. Laugh out loud. <laughs> Fuck, seriously, if people are getting the surgery, what's insecurity is it? Ah, you talking on the phone? Going to happen because insecurity starts from within. You talking on that goddamn phone? What you doing? Did you say more fish the question so people can understand what you're saying. I'm, I'm trying. It was I, I, you I come read. Back? I read what I see. <laughs> <laughs> basically, basically, uh, she talking about uh, insecurity falls, falls falls within. She got enough ass. You know what I mean? She talking about fat in her stomach. I, I just read what I see, y'all. Go ahead. I just read what I oh, see. Then we got, pick, well, interpret it the way you want to interpret it. I'm going to interpret the way I want to take it. She said that she got enough ass that she looks good, you know what I mean? But she might have to fix that stomach of hers. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, got, we got another call up. Uh, uh, man, Mr. Fix, Mr. Mr. Hill. fix it. You got the brand to fix it. Mr. Fix Mr. It. Hill. Talk to your man. Uh, what, bro fix it. what bothers me is when they have the surgery and act like nobody can tell you. <laughs> And when you act, if they had a surgery, they lie. <laughs> they do lie. But my thing is this, y'all. How y'all don't, to me, see, this is why people be insecure about getting uh, surgery. Because people want to joke it. Listen. No, why? Nobody going to joke nothing. Don't lie. I just seen you last week. Now your ass big as shit. I seen people for years and their ass still look like they left home on the couch. Yeah. What the fuck? I just seen you last week. Don't lie. Why are you gonna sit there and lie in my face? Because people make them want to have to lie because it is. They want to make it like it's a joke. I don't get. Listen, listen. You ain't paid for it. That's the same way if I gotta go down and get braces, right? All right, I'm gonna start it right now. From now, on, we ain't lying about surgeries, y'all. <laughs> we had to put this out. 